In this shortcut tutorial aimed at complete beginners, I will show you how to edit large or long sequences of video clips. Other tutorials can be found in my playlists. Now before I start, the one thing I will point out is this is one of the later versions of Shotcut. So this is actually 2007-11. Older versions, I think 20.06 um, and earlier will not work like this. Okay. So the first thing you'll see when you open up Shotcut is this screen here. I've already done one here, ignore this. Um, so projects folder. I would select the projects folder. So I'm going to select this folder here. You can navigate around your computer simply, you know how to do that. So that's fine. And also make sure you give it a title so I'm going to call it what it is trains because you'll need to go back into it if you're going to use the system I'm using and then you'll find here video mode you'll probably find that it's selected when you first open it up it says automatic this is fine but what can happen is you could find especially if you've got a couple of clips which are different sizes if you bring say a 720 in and I don't know a 1080 it may default to the 720 so I would select the size I want my videos to render at this is all about the end result so select whichever format you want you can go UHD and this system I'm going to use will help people with slower computers editing um, UHD so but I'm going to go for 1080p 25 frames per second. So basically we've got a folder, a title and a frame rate. And now select start. Make sure the playlist is um, showing. OK. Now there's many ways to bring um, uh, files into your um, editor but I'll have to be honest with you in most video editors I always open up my browser first so I'm ready to go in this case I'm not here but anyway and then select the videos that you want to use and literally just drag them into the playlist okay now the next part you can skip but I recommend it if you've got very long clips or like I said you're trying to do um, 4k or UHD videos if you come up to settings select settings and then you've got something called proxy place a tick in the box next to use proxies and you'll get this option comes up do you want to create missing proxies for every file in this project you must reopen your project after all proxy jobs are finished so just select yes and you'll create these proxies nothing will happen so I'm not going to go into restarting this well I'll go around the long way so I'm just going to literally close this down and then reopen it but make sure you select yes when it asks you um, where it says the project is being modified do you want to save changes select yes okay I've just reopened um, shortcut double click the folder or the recent project that you created now what you'll find is your clips have been replaced by proxy clips now these are smaller files so it's telling me this is a 
2540p and it'll be at 25 frames a second so if I looked at this full screen it would be quite blurred but it doesn't affect the final result what you'll find is that when you come to export your video it will be in full HD or UHD but anyway I'm not going to go into too much detail about that now again there's a lot of different ways you can cut or edit videos but for speed I find the best way in a lot of video editors is if I just double click the first one now the downside with shortcut it always plays whatever you select but anyway now if I drag this pointer as you can see it's a lot quicker using proxies if I drag this pointer to the point where I want to start what you can do at this point here if I press I for in it will literally cut out this part but it hasn't actually cut it away I could re change this when I put it in a timeline but I'll show you that in a minute now place your pointer in the track but keep it away from the marker hold your left mouse button down and drag this over you can also do this by playing the video so I'm going to just go over to here and we'll go there it moved a bit but that's fine now I'm going to press O for out so this video will play from here to here now if I place my pointer in the monitor hold my left mouse button down I can drag this into the timeline jobs a good one so now if I play this clip I might have to go back to the beginning okay don't know what happened there but anyway we're back at the beginning if I play this clip it'll just play the part that I've edited okay that's pretty good and also I can move it in track here now at any point if I wanted to change it slightly I can grab the edges and move them back to the point or move it forward so this is one way you can re-edit so I'll show you what to do on a later clip so I'm just snap this back otherwise this tutorial will go on forever okay let's do the next one again I'm gonna select it probably have to press stop I'll drag this along or you can play the video stop hit I for in and let's just play this one We'll stop there and I'm going to press O for out and I'm going to drag this clip into the timeline so it snaps up okay now these are a couple of very long ones and this is where proxies do come in at handy so let's do this one here double click the clip and I'm going to stop it I'm going to stop this clip here and I'm going to just drag this along to the point where I know I want to start so I'm going to reverse to about there as you can see this is working quite well with the box, the proxy clips so I got to this point here I'm going to press in and I don't know again making sure my marker is out of the way we'll finish here so I'll press out O for out that is so that's this clip here one more and again I'm gonna just drag this along and I'll start here so I'm gonna press I for in and drag this along and O for out and drag this clip in so let's just drag this here so say I wanted to just change the length of the clip if I place my pointer over the left hand side I can just drag it out slightly and because I haven't cut the clip 
I haven't got a problem if I'd cut this I couldn't do what I've just done so you can change the size of the clips by dragging the edges if you've cut it too short or if you want to make it shorter again so I'm going to drag this up okay now you're good to go so just a recap in the timeline just use I for in and O for out and drag your clip in so finally let's render this you can go up to the top show export panel or you can come down here and select export now you've got some options if you go into advanced got your format this says mp4 select this you could change it so you could go mov you've got so many different options here personally i would stick with mp4 um I'm not going to go into the audio or anything this works fine and now just select export file and I don't know give it a title we've got trains it says trains I'll call it it's always default to the folder you selected at the beginning trains final select save and your video will start rendering at the top here I'll come back to this when it's finished when your video is finished rendering hopefully you'll have a fully edited um, series of clips in full definition hopefully that's helped someone Thank you for watching. Cheers.